name is Diana Kapo Rutledge. It is July 22nd, 1909, and I live in Baptai, Lithuania. My family and I must emigrate to America because I am poor, very poor. My sister Anna and my brother Abram have already immigrated to America with my mama because my father had to finish his job. Now my brother Alexander, Papa and I are going to meet up with them in America. I don't have much to bring on the trip. I have very little leaf dust. Altogether, Papa, Alexander, and I have 60.97 leaf dust, which Papa told me in America is $5. I pack all my clothes. I also pack some pans, spoons, and other things I found around the house. Now it is time to say goodbye to my friends. I told my best friend Galina to meet me by the river on her horse. Saying goodbye to Galina is one of the hardest things I ever had to do. We both start to cry, but we both know there's nothing we can do to stop it. But now it is officially time to go. It is now August 19, 1909, and we go to Port Remen in Germany by riding our horses. We get on the ship called the George Washington. The ship is very smelly. It smells worse than raw eggs. There are lots of people, and the rooms are cramped. I am scared that since there are so many people, somebody would push me overboard. Day after day pass, each the same. Then finally, on August 29th, 1909, we finally get to Ellis Island, the Island of Hope, which is what Papa calls it. Officers in uniforms greeted us as we docked. I am very excited, but very nervous that we're here. My heart is pounding so hard, I think we will jump out. The officers told us to walk down the main building, where they numbered us with tags. I didn't know what the tag meant, but I left it on. We left our bags in this room and went upstairs for the exams. Father Alexander and I go upstairs into this huge room. I thought I was in a new world. Never in my life have I ever seen such a huge room. I almost fainted. There were lots of people. Voices bounced back and forth, lots of which I couldn't understand. All the new voices are making me very dizzy as we walk into this very long line. I noticed there was a guy in a uniform marking a woman with chalk. That made me get a little unsteady. What did the chalk mean? I am feeling myself start to sweat. I lean over to ask Papa. It means you are unhealthy or sick. Papa says in a whisper. After I heard that, I got very scared. What if I am sick and I could not get in? My heart is racing. After Papa and Alexander went, it was my turn. The man looked at me. He used a weird thing to look in my eye. The machine felt weird. I start to feel my eyelid open. Then just suddenly, I see the man waving me ahead. I felt so relieved. After that, we went into another line. At the front, there were two men. One man helped my father talk to the man behind the desk. He asked questions like, where were you born, or have you ever committed a crime? I start thinking, oh my goodness, I once stole a new bit for my horse at the store because I couldn't afford it. What if that will prevent me from getting into America? I whisper to Alexander what it is. He starts to say, you're not going to make it, Indiana. You broke the law. This makes me panic. I just wait there, saying nothing. Then before I even knew it, we were walking to the stairs. At the stairs, there are three aisles. We went down the left aisle. Alexander told me it means we are going north, which is where Mama, Anna, and Abram live. Father told me they live in a place called Indiana. What is Indiana? Is it pretty there? All these thoughts trouble me. How can any place replace the place I grew up? Each step, and taking down the steps, is one step closer to a new life. As Papa, Alexander, and I walk down the north stairs, which is what Alexander calls it, I see Mama, Anna, and Abram as I'm walking down. I shout, Saviki! I start running to them. My heart is pounding. It has been months since I've seen them. I come down to give them a big hug. It was so hard, I couldn't even breathe. I was so happy to see them I cried. Mama started to teach me English. 
She explained that in English, instead of saying Sabiki, you say hello. I practiced many times on the ride to our new home. We got to the apartment. It isn't big. It has a little kitchen with a stove and two bedrooms. Anna and Abram start explaining to Alexandra and me about how they make money. They do something called peddling. Apparently, they do it against Mama's wishes. It is when they went from door to door on our meals selling things like spoons or cloths. Anna said tomorrow I could come with her to try it. It is now September 4th, 1909, and I am finding this new journey very hard. Sitting outside my building, looking at the world, everything is new. Looking everywhere, it makes my old town seem so small. I used to think it was as big as can be. Mama says I will soon be starting American school. Will I make friends there? Soon I will find out. There is a long journey ahead.